message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll do fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters... Uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth when they pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. All right. Good night. Most people 
people don't last this long. I mean, you know, they usually move on to other things by now. Uh, I'm not implying that they died. That, that, that's not what I meant. Uh, anyway, I, I better not take up too much of your time. Uh, things start getting real tonight. Uh, uh, hey, listen, I, I had an idea. If you happen to get caught and want to avoid getting stuffed into a Freddy suit, uh, try playing dead. You know, go limp. Then there's a chance that uh, maybe they'll think that you're an empty costume instead. Uh, then again, if they think you're an empty costume, they might try to stuff a metal skeleton into you. I wonder how that would work. Y yeah, never mind. Scratch that. It's best just not to get caught. Um, uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave you to it. See you on the flip side.
glitch in the system, something about robots seeing you as an endoskeleton without a costume on and wanting to stuff you into a suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. <laughs> you may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Uh, by now I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around, but if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them, too. So, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh, wait, Foxy. Oh, yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey, listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. It would cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold him in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. you wouldn't have any problems. Did, uh, Foxy ever appear in the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. Like I said, he was always my favorite. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly and put him in Kid's Cove uh, to keep the toddlers entertained, you know. But kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together at the end of every shift. Eventually, they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of take-apart, put-back-together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh, oh, hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you that whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from opening till close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Hello, hello! Uh, hey there, night four! I told you you'd get the hang of it. Okay, so uh, just to update you, uh, there's been somewhat of an investigation going on. Uh, we may end up having to close for a few days. I don't know. Uh, I want to emphasize, though, that it's really just a precaution. Uh, Fazbear Entertainment denies any wrongdoing. These things happen sometimes. Um, it'll all get sorted out in a few days. Just keep an eye on things, and I'll keep you posted. Uh, just as a side note, though, but try to avoid eye contact with any of the animatronics tonight if you can. Uh, someone may have tampered with their facial recognition systems. We're not sure. 
but the characters have been acting very unusual, almost aggressive toward the staff. They interact with the kids just fine, but when they encounter an adult, they just stare. Uh, anyway, hang tight, it will all pass. Good night. Oh, oh, hey, good job, night five. Um, hey, uh, keep a close eye on things tonight, okay? Uh, from what I understand, the building is on lockdown. Uh, no one is allowed in or out, you know, especially concerning any previous employees. Um, when we get it all sorted out, we may move you to the day shift. A position just became available. Uh, we don't have a replacement for your shift yet, but we're working on it. Uh, we're going to try to contact the original restaurant owner. Uh, I think the name of the place was Fred Bear's Family Diner or something like that. It was closed for years, though. I doubt we'll be able to track anybody down. Uh, so just get through one more night. Uh, hang in there. Good night.
training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much-needed information on how to handle, slash, climb into, slash, climb out of, mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash, injuries, slash, death, slash, irreparable and grotesque maimings can occur. First, we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound ease. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd-pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper suit handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out, as to not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an emergency, please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in the digital map layouts program into the animatronics or security system. This room is hidden to customers, invisible to animatronics, and is always off camera. As always, remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, there's been a slight change of company policy concerning use of the suit. Um, don't. After learning of an unfortunate incident at the sister location involving multiple and simultaneous spring lock failures, the company has deemed the suit temporarily unfit for employees. Safety is top priority at Brady Fazbear's Pizza, which is why the classic suits are being retired to an appropriate location while being looked at by our technicians. Until replacements arrive, you will be expected to wear the temporary costumes provided to you. Keep in mind that they were found on very short notice, so questions about appropriateness slash relevance should be deflected. I repeat, the classic suits are not to be touched, activated, or worn. That being said, we are free of liability. Do as you wish. As always, remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Uh, hello, hello. Um, this is just a reminder of company policy concerning the safe room. The safe room is reserved for equipment and or other property not being currently used and as a backup safety location for employees only. This is not a break room and should not be considered a place for employees to hide and or congregate. And under no circumstance should a customer ever be taken into this room and out of the main show area. Management has also been made aware that the Spring Bonnie animatronic has been noticeably moved and would like to remind employees that this costume is not safe to wear under any circumstances. Thank you. 
you and remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza.